Welcome to this tutorial showing you how to create a piece of work in response to the artist Bobby Neil Adams. And I have already opened up a photograph of myself and a photograph of my son in a similar pose. And I went to Google and I typed in torn paper and I found these torn paper edges that I'm going to use, or at least one of them. Okay, so I'm going to go to my son's image, select with the rectangular select, then control C to copy, control V to paste, and that picture's bigger than the other, so I'm just going to resize it. Remember to hold shift while you're doing it to keep it the right shape. And although I can move it later, I might as well try and put it in the right place at the right size right now. Okay, that'll do for now. Right, now I'm going to go to my torn paper and I'm going to magic wand that bottom rip. See, I just select the white and then I'm going to control C that to copy it and control V. And it's quite small, but not to worry. I'll resize. If you press shift again, that will help you to lock it into a straight up angle and then I'm just stretching it out there we go it's quite thick so I'm gonna just thin it a bit as well okay that's good right now I'm gonna bring my photograph up and I'm gonna grab the paper tear and I'm gonna position it where I want it to be and then once I'm happy and then still on that layer, I'm going to magic wand the bit that I want to get rid of, go back to my photograph of me and press delete. And that's going to get rid of the side of me that I don't want anymore. And it's at this point that I can grab my photograph of my son and I can position him where I want him to be. And don't forget, you can use the um, arrow keys on your keyboard to nudge um, the photo into position as well. So when you're very, very close to having it right, you might just nudge it. But I'm just resizing a bit, just make sure the size is right so the eyes are level. Okay, all good. Okay. Right, now I have it where I want it. I'm just gonna crop down the image. So rectangular select, go from the top corner to the bottom corner of my son's image, and then image crop. And now I want to make that tear look a little bit more realistic. So I'm going to merge the tear with my photograph. Right click, merge layers. There we go, okay. So the tear is now attached to my, my photograph and I'm going to create a shadow. So I'm going to double click on that layer and I'm going to use outer glow. And I'm going to make sure it's set to black. Click OK. And I'm going to make sure it's normal. And then I'm going to slide the size and distance sliders to wherever I want them to be. Maybe bring the opacity down. Okay, to whatever effect I think looks best. I'm just gonna zoom in and show you what I mean. See, now I have that bit of a shadow there. I think that works really well. Okay, and that's it. You could leave this image exactly how it is, but I think to really um, make the Kind of connection between old and new you could go image adjustments black and white on the picture of me so you've got old me and new generation something like that okay that's the end of this tutorial i hope it helps